Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video, brand new Monday Blu-ray hunt, yes. And as usual, the weather is crap. Has anybody noticed over the last week or two, it's kind of like a seesaw when it comes to the weather. You get one day where it's blue sky sunshine, the next day it's pissing it down and 50 mile an hour winds. The following day, it's blue sky and sunshine. The next day, it's pissing it down with 50 mile an hour winds. Well, yesterday I went out for a walk and it was blue sky and sunshine. And what is it like today? <laughs> yes, maybe without the 50 mile an hour winds, but it's still crapping it down like you wouldn't believe. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to get wet, so that's why I've got my hoodie and my gloves and all that kind of shit. Anyway, we are here on Monday. It is a big week. Oh, yes. You're going to get all the kind of innuendos that you imagine today. Uh, we are going to the lovely town of Maidstone, which I haven't been to for about a month. Absolutely. Hopefully they've tucked all the Christmas shit away now. Uh, but uh, we're going to park undercover, um, closer to the town this time, so literally up the elevator, elevator, we're in America, up the lift, uh, and HMV's right outside the door. But also CEX, because I haven't been in that CEX for about a month, and you know I've got some lovely vouchers, or I might find some shit to buy, <laughs> hopefully. Um... I might try and get to that big charity shop, the D big Demelza warehouse, but I don't want to get too wet, <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, before we get going, we have a little list of uh, stuff that's out today. So let me stick you into receiver position, position. What the hell was that? Okay, so we're just going to go through the main ones today. Uh, there are a couple of other bits that are coming out, but um, we'll have a look. Okay, the two biggies. First one, Halloween Ends. Yes, everybody's favourite film of 2022. <laughs> Okie dokie, so we've got a, a multitude of releases for this one. Uh, we have the standard Blu-ray, which looks nice. And we also have a Blu-ray trilogy. I'll put my teeth in in a minute. We've got a Blu-ray trilogy. Oh, tr tr I still can't say it. A Blu-ray trilogy. <laughs> All three films. Uh, <laughs> so if you haven't got any of the previous ones, get it. They did the same similar thing with the Ghostbusters, didn't they? Although I don't think we got a slip for that one. Um, we also have the lovely 4K, which that's the one that I'm going for. Uh, because I already have 18 and kills with both 4K slipcovers. Uh, there's also two Zavi Steelbooks. Yeah. So you can take your choice of which colour you want, <laughs> basically. So that's Halloween Ends. Uh, we also have Black Adam with Dwayne Zilloc Johnson. Yes, he's French now. Uh, we have a Blu-ray for that one. Um, hopefully it comes with a slipcover because it's not Marvel, it's DC. So it should come with a regular size case and a slipcover. But we can only hope. We also have the 4K, which... Uh, I'm trying to get my words out. That looks really nice. Uh, and we also have an HMV exclusive steelbook, which I do have come in. Uh, should be delivered today, hopefully dent-free. Uh, but uh, hopefully we'll get to have a look at it in the HMV store itself. This is turning into a French Blu-ray channel. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> uh, we also have Cloverfield, uh, the 4K 15th anniversary steelbook from Xavier. Uh, I already had a delivery of this a couple of days ago and I did an unboxing on my channel. So you can check that out. It's got one of those lovely plastic slippy slips. Yeah. Uh, we also have El Enemy, Emily, Emily the Criminal. Why is she a criminal? What's she done? Uh, and we also have Sneaky Pete um, from Bobby Dazzler Media. Yeah. So there we go. So yeah, it's um, it's a good list. Uh, there are other things out, uh, but uh, I decided not to write them down because we don't want to be sitting here for half an hour going through everything. But we'll have a look, see what shit HMV's got anyway. Hang on, let me just flip you back. Okay, so that's better. Right, we're going to get on the road then, get out the Maidstone, get parked, and uh, we'll go to our first stop. The lovely, the mighty, the pink HMV. Let's do it.
Okay, so we're up here at Maidstone. It's actually quite empty on level three here, so I'm parked all out of the way. But uh, yeah, let's get to our first stop of the day, the mighty HMV. Let's go and have a look at today's lovely goodies. Here we are then, HMV, with the multi-coloured bench. Yep, it's the, um, the buddy bench. Yes, Ooh, what's that? Oh, bit of history on Framlins in the window here. Okay, that's interesting. Right, okay, HMV. Let's go and have a look, see what they've got. Whoa. That is so cool. That is flipping massive. I didn't realise that that Darth Vader helmet was that big. That's the biggest helmet I've ever seen. Right, here we are with the 4K section and here is Black Adam with lots of spot gloss on it. Yes, it does come with a slip cover, fan bloody tastic, one hour of bonus features and it's in a slim case as well. So less shelf space needed. Yes, maybe they're going to do that for all of them. Here is the lovely HMV exclusive 4K steelbook. Looks absolutely gorgeous, £29.99. and pennies. Very nice. Uh, what else have we got over here? We have Halloween ends. Lots of Halloween ends with the uh, the slip covers. So that's really nice. A glossy slip cover as well. £24.99. So that'll be a definite pickup. Over onto the regular section. Here's Black Adam the Blu-ray. Uh, again, with a slip cover. Different artwork. £14.99 and in a slim case. So yeah, all DCs in slims. Pardon. Emily the criminal is on the shelf. I don't know what she's doing there or what she's done. Who has she robbed or has she murdered someone? I really don't know. What else have we got down here? Down here we have Vengeance, uh, the new film by BJ Novak from, uh, you know, him from the American office. So that's quite interesting. I think I might have that come in. Pardon. Uh, we also have a film called Hatch Hatching. Yes, Hatching what? £12.99. Not heard of that, so not sure what that one's about. Uh, let's have a look up here. What have we got? Here we are. Halloween ends. The standard Blu-ray. Very nice. £14.99 with a slip cover. And also the trilogy as well. Ah, oh, they all come with slips. Lovely slips. Everybody loves slips. £24.99. So same price as a 4K really. Yeah, what else have we got? Um, here, This one is just for you, uh, Rehan. Uh, this is Survivor War Games, the WWE. And... Down here, what have we got? What is this? This is a bit of anime. This is called, what, Fruits Baskets? Or fruit, Fruits Baskets, final season? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, if you haven't picked up Minions yet, uh, with a slipcover, £9.99 now. That one's got a bit of a tear on it, so I'd leave that one. And uh, here's a little selection of horror films. They're called January Horror. Wow, lovely stuff. Okay, so I've got a couple of pickups in HMV. Brilliant, so let's move on to our next stop, CEX. Let's go and have a look, see what they've got. See if I can spend some of those vouchers. I've got about 160 quid's worth of vouchers I'm trying to spend. Surely they must have something. Okay, so next stop, CEX. Let's pop in and uh, have a look, see if they've got anything worthy picking up. Okay, so there's some 4Ks just entering the door. We have The Witch, uh, we have Jurassic World there, Top Gun and House of Dragon as well on Blu-ray. Uh, here's the big selection of uh, 4Ks, including the uh, Christopher Knight, Christopher Knight, Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy. Uh, a really nice uh, Ant-Man uh, 4Ks there. Plus we have the Daniel Craig collection for £25. Some more Jurassic World. Uh, down here we got stuff like Cliffhanger. Uh, what's that for about 12 quid? Uh, we got some Inception old uh, Matrix trilogy there for £22. Uh, that's pretty good. Don't need the fourth one. The fourth one is shit. Some Top Gun back there. Uh, Jurassic Park. Bohemian Rhapsody. It. The Shining. What else have we got? We've got some Maze Runner down the bottom as well. Um, Top Gun. All sorts of stuff. Sicario. Yeah, Passengers. And uh, a load of other 4K. So, looks like somebody's offloaded a load. Up here, we have 28 Days Later for 3 quid. And also 28 Weeks Later for £2.50 on Blu-ray. Uh, we have Arlington Road with Jeff Bridges and Tim Robbins for, what's that, a fiver? I thought this was out of print, but it's it's on uh, Amazon for about six quid. Uh, we also have the third season of The Bad Woman, uh, which was shit. 
So we'll leave that there and death becomes her for £10 in a nice black case. Yeah, perfect in a black case. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, we also have Rogue One, the 3D release in an absolutely mint slipcover. Never seen such a mint slipcover in CEX before. And here we have uh, Star Trek Discovery Season 4 uh, for £18 and also Picard Season 2 for £12. That's a good price. Okay, so we'll go and have a look in Sue Ryder. I think the last time they actually got rid of all of their media, so I don't think they've got it in. But uh, if you don't see any video footage, then they don't have any and I've moved on to the Demelza outlet. So even after a month of not coming up here, I didn't find anything I wanted in CEX. So I'm still hanging on to those vouchers. <laughs> one day, one day I'll buy something. But anyway, yeah, the, uh, there was only a couple of DVDs in that. Sue Ryder, a couple of kids DVDs, a few for a quid, you know, three for a quid. But uh, anyway, we're here at our next stop, Demelza. So let's go and have a look, see if they've got anything in. Okay, Demelza shopping outlet. Sometimes we can find some good Blu-rays in here. You never know, they might have had a, a few ones in. Let's go and have a look. Okay. Right, what up to the back? That's where the media is. Okay, they've got lots of box sets in here. So what we've got, we've got the boots. Georgia the Forge from Star Trek. Extras, teachers, carpets, line of duty, desperate housewives, green wing, and we've got the absolutely fabulous, all creatures great and small, some cold feet, Simpsons, black out of their wolf four series for three, three pound. Some dynamo down there, you know, the magician. Okay, so uh, we do have some Blu rays over here. Uh, yeah, looks like there's more than there was, so let's have a look through them. Okay, Robin Hood. So I've got Kick Ass, Bad Lieutenant, or Lieutenant, uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, the Peter K, Blood Diamond, Godzilla. And we've got Johnny English there in the mechanic. Some Avengers, Lee Mills, uh, Homeland First Season, Lady in the Van, some of these are Poundland dudes. Let me in, Chloe Gross and the Rats. So I've got that in the Poundland bin, so I need to watch that. Got the King's Speech, Ice Age Inception, Theory of Everything, that's a good film. I think I'll leave One Direction. Uh, so swing you there in Immortals. What we've got down here? Get that one out of the way. So Crab Man, Inside Out, Hercules, Blades of Glory, In Between Us, Clash of the Titans, Hobbs and Shaw, uh, John Wick number two. What's Assembly? Oh, don't know. And um, we've got Benjamin Button there. Quantum of Solace, 300, Salvation, Assassin's Creed, uh, Predator, Battleship, Ooh, Escape Plan, wow, Escape Plan with a Lenticular, that's pretty cool, I'll put that to one side because I didn't know that that came with a Lenticular. Some more 300. What we've got down here? Casino Royale, Unforgiven, Commuter, Law Abiding Citizen, Contagion, Training Day, which is coming out of 4K soon, uh, Gemini Man, Pacific Rim with a lenticular. I think that's a US one. Yeah, that's a US one. Star Trek, The Edge. Okay. A bit of Brucey. The Martian there, Hitman. Some more Homeland. 
Expendables 2, District 9 Pixels, and we've got that special limited edition Casino Royale as well. And then up here we've got a couple of box sets. We have the three movie Transformers, which includes Revenge of the Fallen and The Dark of the Moon, so the first three, and uh, the Dark Knight trilogy there. Got some more DVDs around here. Hangover Trilogy, Bronson. Got the Blacklist, My Family, Complete Series 1 to 7, Amelie. Oceans 11, 12 and 13 and Anchorman and Walking the Dead and then just some CDs around here. And we have a, a trolley here with uh, new stuff that looks like it may be going on the shelf. Sharp, Doc Martin, is that True Detective? We've got some Alfred Hitchcock, the Signature Collection. Uh, that 70s show, season one. Times Meerkat Manor, and then here with the uh, all the kids' books and everything is all the like the children's animated shows and kids' kids' shows. Um, there was a few a few Blu-rays here. So we've got Tinkerbell, what's that? Pirate Fairy, uh, Shrek Forever After, Frozen. Tinkerbell, how we make chipmunks open the season, the Lorax, Romeo and Juliet, Planet 51, and Ice Age, Dine of the Dino, uh, Ice Age, was it Dawn of the Dinosaurs? This is kind of like the place to come if you want to get your board games and your toys. They've got a lot of board games here. Uh, I don't think there's anything movie related, but there's a movie one up there. What's this? Speak out. Post office. <laughs> yeah, don't know if that's relevant these days. It's probably closed most of the time. Plus, of course, we've got, what's this? Star Wars Operation. Oh my God. Let's have a look at that. Star Wars Operation. Oh, you have to operate on Chewie. that then so look <laughs> oh dear we've got some balls on there as well that's quite humorous and what's this what's that smell probably me plus you've got a lot of plush toys up here and teddies and things like that what for that 50p i don't know if there's anything movie related in here um, I'm not specifically looking for a new Porg, <laughs> but we do have uh, some uh, meerkats in here. Yeah, I don't think so. And uh, if you're fitting your living room out in, in the pink style, then there's some pink stuff up here, including that rather nice pink chair over here for 80 quid, very stylish. Very nice. Okay, so yeah, they had small Blu-rays in, but uh, I wasn't tempted by anything. I looked at that escape plan lent uh, lenticular sleeve. It looks like it's just been stuck on. Uh, I mean, it's probably official one, but not stuck on very well. But it wasn't really anything that I wanted to pick up, and uh, I think on the DVDs or the box sets. So uh, I think that's it for here. So let's go to, where should we go next? Where have we been for a while? Um, Rich Heart Foundation, because that's down the lower part of Maidstone. Yeah, I haven't been there for probably about six weeks, so who knows what's down there. Anyway, yeah, let's go to the Rich Heart Foundation then. That'll probably be our last stop today. Uh, and then I'm gonna go and get a coffee and go back to the car. We're in Maidstone. You remember that uh, little second hand shop that we came in last time? I had some Blu rays in that. 
Uh, it's still closed because it's Monday. That's it, trash or trash or treasure, second hand stuff. We came up on a Wednesday last time, so we'll have to remember to pop up on a Wednesday if you want to have a look in there. I still need to try this German Donner kebab. Kebab? What the f there was a kebab. Kebab. <coughs> yeah, but we don't need to do it up in there because I've got one down in Dover. So uh, we could try it down in Dover. Plus we also have a Taco Bell in Dover now, so don't need to try that up here. Although I've already had something with Lou and Claire before Christmas. And if you remember back, me and Lou tried Wendy's as well. The fries were all right, but burgers, yeah. Okay, so last stop up here in Maidstone today, British Heart Foundation. Let's go in, have a look, see if they've got any new media. Oh, you have some blue haze in here. Uh, Johnny English. Good luck, Chuck Watchman. Big Hero 6. Deadpool with a slipcover. Transformers, A Star is Born. Slipcover 1 pound 50. Interstellar. 150. Heat. Man of Steel. Lenticular. Uh, Life of Pi 3D. Eleven Insidious with a slipcover. And Prometheus with a slipcover. And uh, we also have Inception there with a lenticular and Sweeney Todd. A couple of DVDs. Some more Blu-rays, Wonder Woman there and Suicide Squad Extended Edition. And we've got some of the old uh, Friends DVDs here in the snapper cases. So there's quite a few there. Okay, so yeah, they had some Blu-rays, some good ones as well. If you hadn't got them with uh, pretty much pristine slip covers. Really good, reasonable price of £1.50 rather than the usual five quid for a blue ray. Uh, but nothing I wanted to pick up. There was a couple of PS4 games which I scanned on CX, but uh, nothing worth anything. Uh, I'm going to go back to the car now, but I'm just going to make one final stop in the works because I still haven't picked up a diary yet. So I'm going to have a look see if there's any like movie related diary, maybe an Avengers one or a Star Wars one. Do you know what? While I'm down this end, I think I might go down and have a look in the Children's Trust. That's the shop where I picked up that Band of Brothers sealed Blu-ray tin, which I still have. Yes, I mean it's only down the road there. Might as well go and have a look see if they've got anything. They've got Cancer Research there, but they never have any Blu-rays in or media. But that's the one we're going in, Children's Trust. Let's go and have a look. Blu-rays basically. Okay, let's go to the works, have a look at the diaries, grab a coffee, not from the works, from Costa, uh, and then head back to the car. Okay, so back to the car. My uh, ring has been going off like mad on my phone, thinking that I'm actually exercising. <laughs> but uh, no, I've got some good steps in today as well. Okay, so right, before we go back, uh, show you what I picked up and what I've had delivered. It's time for the weekly traditional Kermit's Ghost coffee shot. Here we go. Get ready, everybody. Mm -mm -mm. Look at those lovely Arabica beans. Ooh. That shot is a support shot from Big Paulie to Kermit's Ghost. Um, whose mum's not very well at the moment. So I'm thinking about you, Alan. Uh, we're all thinking about you in the community. I hope everything goes all right and I hope your mum gets better soon. But uh, this is my love to you and um, everybody else in the community. S hang in there and um, everything will be okay. Fantastic. Okay, so we are done here in Maidstone. Let's go home and um, yeah, let's see what I've got today. I picked up a couple of bits and pieces and also anything that's been delivered by the lovely Royal Mail because they're not on strike today. <laughs> that's a bloody plus. Yes, anyway, I'll see you at home. Oh, Rabica beans. Oh. Oh. Oh, how bloody annoying. Coming down the motorway, I noticed there's no traffic coming up on the other side for some reason for like five miles. Get down a little bit, all complete bloody standstill. 
helicopter flew over just now. I think you can see it up there. I think it might be um, a rescue helicopter. So maybe it's really serious accident down here. Yeah, look, he's, he's dipping around, he's coming down. Is he gonna land on the motorway? I hope he ain't got no rockets on it because he's coming right for me. <laughs> Let's blow up that bloody car. <laughs> yeah, I think, oh, if there's a field down there, maybe. Or he might be just landing on, he can't land on the motorway. There's no way he can land on the motorway. It's not wide enough. What is he doing? Maybe he is. That's my, uh... He's certainly doing something. I don't know what. He's just... Maneuvering into position. I think he might actually be landing on the motorway. Unless someone's going to jump out. It's going to be like Navy SEALs. Oh, I've got another siren coming from somewhere. Well, they can't get past because there's three lanes completely thick. I think he is. He's he's coming right over onto where the, the other... That's why they've closed the up the up uh, side on the road. So that he can land on the motorway. <gasps> Whoa. Must be really serious. Okay, right, update. So I've been sat here for an hour and a half and another air ambulance has come and is going to land. And all that's been happening for the last hour and a half is just siren after siren going down the side of the motorway. Um, so I don't know how they're going to move all this shit. You've got the barriers on the right hand side. They'll either have to remove those barriers or they're going to have to reverse all of this traffic. Probably at about 20 mile tailback, they'll have to reverse it all back to the nearest, um, you know, off ramp. Yeah. Oh dear. And I don't normally take this road because this is, this motorway is absolutely shit this M20, because this is the road that they stack lorries on waiting to go to the port. So we have a contraflow system. As you can see over there, that is the upside divided into two. So you use two lanes where those purple tubes are and these lanes here you don't use. That's where they stack all the lorries. And... Um, the, while they're not stacking the lorries, it's still got a speed limit of 50 miles an hour in place and they've still got like controlled lanes. So it makes it hard to do anything or to get off the road anywhere. Yeah, well, at least the sun's shining a little bit. So at least I've got a little bit of sun. I've put me, I've actually got out of the car and put my coat on because um, I don't want to use my engine because... Even though, you know, I need the heat in, I don't want to use too much because otherwise I'm just burning petrol. Yeah. So I don't know how long this is going to take. Oh, happy days. Okay, right, update. Guess what? Another air ambulance. Or it could be the same one, I don't know. But this is the third time the air, air ambulance is now hovering over the motorway. Yeah, looks like he's off to the hospital. Right, okay, I'm home. By the way, it's Tuesday. Yes, it's the next day. Unfortunately, by the time I got home on Monday, there was no time to do all the editing and everything. Um, yeah, I was stuck on that motorway for probably about two hours, two, two and a half hours. So it wasn't too bad. Um, it was a multi-lorry crash on the northbound side of the motorway. 
um, but they closed the southbound so that they could land the air ambulances actually on the motorway. So they did that several times. Once the air ambulance was done, they let the southbound traffic go. But uh, unfortunately, I was stuck for two hours. <laughs> anyway, we are here today and this proves my point. What I was saying at the beginning of the video about one day being raining, the next day being sunny. Yesterday was murky and raining. What is it like today? It's bloody blue sky and sunshine. What the hell is going on with this country? Yes. Anyway, um, let's um, let's talk about what, what I picked up on uh, and what I had delivered. First of all, I had this one delivered last week. This is actually a new release that came out Monday. <laughs> so, so this is Tuesday. Yes, that's all very confusing. Yeah, I did do an unboxing for this, so you can see my unboxing if you go back a few bits in the in the video. Uh, as for the two biggies, well, um, let me just peel this sticker off because oh, it's a frightful sticker. Okay, first of all, I picked up Black Adam. Yes. Now, I did originally have a pre-order in for the Steelbook in Italy, Amazon Italy, um, because it was about £21. Uh, it had a different design on it as well, but I figured, well, the, the deliver, you know, the release times are pretty much e even. Um, and what's the possibility that I'll get it in one piece? So I thought I'd just go with the HMV one. So I picked this one up in HMV yesterday. Yes, so I will be doing um, an unboxing for this. So keep an eye open for that. Uh, and also, I picked up Halloween Ends on 4K. Yeah, I, I decided not to go for the Steelbooks, the two Steelbook designs, uh, because I don't have the previous any of the previous Halloween films on Steelbook, I have them all on 4K. And I do have 2018 and Halloween and Halloween Kills, both on 4, 4K and both with slipcovers. So I figured I'd pick this one up. Uh, this was 24 99 So I'll do an unboxing on this one now. Um, like I say, for uh, Black Adam, I will do a separate unboxing because it's Steelbook and I love to do Steelbook unboxing separately. I'm like that. <laughs> uh, but also stay tuned to the end of the video because there is a giveaway. Oh yes, everybody loves a big poorly giveaway. Yeah, and talking of giveaways, I'll be drawing the Only Fools and Horses Kushti vinyl figures and the two House of the Dragon 4K steel books tomorrow. So uh, that video will be up very soon. That's actually going to be Wednesday now, not Monday. This could be very confusing. <laughs> Um, anyway, yes, so there is Halloween Ends. So I like the cover, really nice cover. Uh, goes out on a high. It depends who you ask. <laughs> yeah, uh, includes deleted and extended scenes. Fan bloody tastic. There we got all the information on the back there. Lots and lots of goodies. Uh, we do have bonus features including deleted and extended scenes, plus go behind the scenes with the uh, original final cut. Jamie Lee Curtis and filmmakers to celebrate. Uh, oh, <laughs> learn to read, Paul. Go go behind the scenes with with the original final girl, <laughs> not final cut. Jamie Lee Curtis and filmmakers to celebrate the making of the greatest horror franchise ever made. No place like Haddonfield, Final Girl, Ending Halloween, and more. So there's quite a lot of stuff on there. Very nice. And we get a Dolby. What do we get on the audio here? Looks like we get a. Wow, we look at a Dolby Atmos soundtrack. Fantastic. Okay, and we've got a nice spine on both sides as well. Not one of those horrible cutout bits that where they leave the security tag in. There we go. Okay, now, have we got artwork on the discs? What do you reckon? Do we have a lazy studio? Who is it? Universal. Oh, oh. Well, it's the same artwork on both discs. So we have the 4K there with Michael, Michael in the shadows. And then we have the Blu-ray. Same artwork. At least we've got artwork anyway. 
fantastic. So that is Halloween in, so I can add that to the rest of my Halloween 4K collection. Yay! So they were the, uh, the, the three big releases of the week. Uh, I've also had some mail in as well. Uh, mail in? Who's mail in? Um, I have had some ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba, subscriber mail. Yes, that will be in a separate video as well. That's quite a thicky, so I'm not sure what's in it. Doesn't seem that heavy, but we'll give that a shot and see what's in there. Uh, and just this morning, before I even started the video, I had a jiffy come <laughs> from Fetch Publicity. So um, let's open this up now and let's see what we've got. Uh, I love pulling crap apart. Okie dokie. <laughs> yes, oh, there we go. And Fetch Publicity there. Thank you very much, guys, over at Fetch Publicity. Uh, I will be doing a update and a review for this this actually also came out yesterday i believe uh, written and directed by bj novak from the american office and it is vengeance awesome yeah looking forward to actually seeing that saw the trailer for this looked really good ashton kutcher boyd holbrook so yeah definitely give that one a go so thank you very much guys for sending that over uh, but i will do a separate unbu un unboxing unboxing and also a review of the actual film itself and the picture quality and the sound quality and all that kind of stuff. So that's some goodies there. Okay, so let's move on to the giveaway. That's the only reason you're here. <laughs> I am giving away one copy. Yeah, it's only one. Only one of Black Adam on the Steelbook from HMV. It's not my copy. I'm not just holding up my copy and pretending that I'm giving it away. There's my copy. <laughs> so, yes, um, I thought I'd give back to my my lovely, my lovely members. Yes. So you could be in, in, in with a chance of winning this. Uh, all you have to do is like the video by giving it the traditional thumbs up. Wait for it. Blah, 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 blah. You must be a subscriber, so don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at BigPoolie101. Uh, if you haven't got Instagram, don't worry, because I know not everybody has it. Um, and in the comments, uh, whether a separate comment or in other text, put hashtag WinBlackAdam. That's it. That's all you have to do. Don't have to answer no really weird, stupid questions and have to go to Google and think, oh, I don't know what the answer will be for that. Just put hashtag win Black Adam, and then in two weeks' time, I will draw the lucky winner for Black... Look at that. Oh. Yes, and I will make sure it's protected when it gets shipped because you don't want to receive a dented steel book from a competition, do you? <coughs> So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed um, today, yesterday and today's video. <laughs> like the video by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. If you're confused, I'm confused as well. But at least I got the video finished. Yes. Um, don't forget to subscribe, comment and share all the usual stuff. And I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye bye.